Hello everyone, it's Haley and I'm back with another pregnancy update. I had somebody request to do a pregnancy Q&A um, in regards to my pregnancy, so that's what we're going to be doing today. Of the questions that she asked, I chose 30 of them, so let's just jump in. The first question is, is your belly soft or firm? Um, as I'm pressing on my belly right now, it's pretty soft. It just kind of all depends on how baby's laying in a particular moment. Um, right now, she's hiding in there somewhere, so my belly's pretty soft. However, um, there are times where she completely has her back pushed out towards the outside of my body. So it my, my belly does get extremely firm, kind of to where it's like really uncomfortable. But right now, when I'm pressing on it, it's pretty soft for the most part. Um, the lower you go touching my belly right now, it gets a little more firm, but to me, it's pretty soft for the most part right now. Like I said, it just kind of all depends on how she's laying in that particular moment of time, whenever, if it's soft or firm. The next question is funny because I was literally just pressing on my belly, but it, the question is, does it hurt to push on your belly? Usually, no. There are times, and it's funny because I was just, the first question asked if my belly was soft or firm and she just moved so now my belly's really firm in a spot um but does it hurt to push on your belly usually no sometimes yes again it just kind of depends on the position of baby um and it's funny again <laughs> i feel like these questions lead into another thing um does the baby move if you push down on your stomach i'm pushing down on my stomach and yes she did move but she doesn't always. It just kind of depends on what I eat or if she's awake or sleeping or whatever. The fourth question is, is your belly smooth? Um, this question, I don't know if she means is my belt, like the skin smooth or if my skin's dry or if you mean like, is my belly rounded to where it's smooth? Um, I hydrate my body a lot with water and with lotions, so I would say in general, like generally, my belly is smooth, but that question is kind of, I don't know which way she meant it exactly. Next question is kind of a funny one. Um, if I pat on the top of my belly, does it sound like a drum? It's funny because the other day, after I had read the questions that she asked me, um, I actually had, I was actually drumming on my belly like before that, so it's funny. But yeah, it does sound like a drum. Um, she wanted me to do a demonstration, but I'm not really feeling up to that at the moment. I'm tired and my setup isn't the greatest right now, so. Um, can I do any belly tricks? Not while pregnant. <laughs> I used to be able to like do a belly dance and I used to be able to do it to where like my abs stuck out in the center, but being pregnant, I can't really suck in or push out or do anything with my belly at the moment because there's a baby in the way. So can't really do any belly tricks at the moment. Do strangers ask to touch your belly? No, thank goodness. And I can thank this virus for that it doesn't bother me as long as i know you um i prefer you to ask if you can touch my belly instead of coming up and just touching it because i don't just randomly go up and touch your belly yeah i might have a baby here but that is literally no excuse for somebody to touch you i don't mind again if certain people touch it like my mom doesn't need to ask my husband does not um, my close friends don't need to ask, even though they usually do, like all those people normally ask besides my husband, which I completely don't care. Um, my mother-in-law, I don't mind if she touches, or even some of my aunts and grandparents, I don't mind, but I think it's just courteous to always ask because some people do not like to be touched, like my sister. Me, like I said, I don't mind it. Um, but I would prefer you to ask because I think it's rude because I'm not just going up to you and touching you or your belly or whatever. So 
do strangers ask to touch your belly? No, but I literally can thank this virus for that because everybody's always standing six feet apart. Do I have any stretch marks? Unfortunately, yes. Um, they started off on like my hips, like my back hip area. And I already had them on my boobs because um, from like gaining weight in the past and losing weight. And then I had some on my legs, but that's just because your legs, you gain weight, you lose weight, stuff like that. I had none on my belly until about four or five weeks ago. So my whole pregnancy, I only had a couple stretch marks in not very noticeable areas, but now I have them on my belly and I feel like they're getting worse, but I guess that just comes with genetics and having a baby. I am a person who drinks a ton, a ton of water and I always keep my body and skin hydrated with like lotions and water obviously, cause I drink a lot of water. But stretch marks are inevitable. Um, if it's in your genetics, you're gonna get stretch marks, whether you try to use the best stretch marks creams on the market or if you try to use lotion or keep hydrated, it's inevitable. You're gonna get them whether you have great skin or not. And that's just, Kind of stinks but it is what it is so next question is does your baby ever stick out their arms or legs yes funny story is um after i found out that my baby was head down so around like 24 ish weeks when i found out she was head down so that's been about 10 weeks ago um my husband was had his like lips kind of like on my belly and he was talking to her and she like straight out punched him in the mouth with her hands and then this, and then recently, um, when we were in the car on the way to the lake, um, I had drank some Gatorade and she was being a crazy woman because I normally don't drink Gatorade because Gatorade is full of sugar. I normally drink a Powerade because it's not as sweet, but Gatorade sounded amazing. So I got a Gatorade and she was being crazy and she like need my husband because I know where her limbs are in my body at the moment because I know that she's head down. So yes, she has stuck out her arms and legs before, but not to where you can like visually see the handprint or the footprint. Cause I know there have been women in the past who have seen hands and feet, but this is just her moving and kneeing or kicking or punching things. So the next question is how far can you push on your belly? And I don't really know how to completely answer that because like I'll press down slightly. Um, I got checked for the first time last week. Um, my cervix was checked and she pushes down really hard and it's very uncomfortable. Um, so I kind of try to not do things that make me extremely uncomfortable since last week has become extremely uncomfortable for me. Um, I would prefer to not push down on my belly. Um, some people probably do just see if you can feel your baby, but um, yeah, I personally do not do that. Um, my doctor does, but she's also a doctor and she knows what she's doing, so. All right, and then what does your belly look like laying down? I will insert a picture right here. That's what it looked like last week when I took that picture. The next question is, is your belly skin sensitive? Um, not at all. I don't find it very sensitive. I'm pretty good in that area. The only sensitive skin I usually have is like on my face or neck. So my belly skin has not been sensitive at all. The next question is, has my belly button popped? So I actually don't have a very any belly button. Mine's kind of like in the middle where it usually, like you can see, like some people you can see their the inside of their belly button and I'm one of those people versus my husband, like it's a deep belly button. Um, so, my belly button actually has not popped out, which is weird because I assumed that my belly button was just going to pop out because I already like, it's not an Audi, but it's like not super pitted either. So, um, no, it has not popped and I'm kind of very surprised. So I don't know how people's belly buttons pop and how some of them don't. I don't know, but mine has not. The next question is if I shake my belly, can I feel my baby move? 
Um, not really. It's like anything else. Um, yeah, she's floating in liquids inside of me, but when you shake your body, do you ever feel any of your organs move? Not really. Um, so me personally, I don't feel her move when I do that. I also try to not do that because I don't want to give her like shaken baby syndrome in the womb. Um, even though I know that's probably, I don't know if that's possible or not. I don't know. But yeah, I just, I don't usually shake my belly crazily. Like sometimes I do to try to get her to move, but it's like subtle move, subtle like shakes that I do. So I don't ever really feel her move when I shake my belly. Question is, does my belly look bigger sitting or standing? Um, I'll let you guys be the judge of that. I will insert two pictures here and you can decide whether it looks bigger if I'm sitting or standing. I think it kind of all depends on the clothing that I'm wearing, so. Question is, what does my belly look like from the top and bottom? Um, I'm not gonna insert a picture just because it, I think it's kind of self-explanatory. It just looks like down a little bit of a pooch and then can't see my feet. I don't know what it looks like from bottom up because I can't see, so. And the next question is, can I write something on my belly? I could. Do I want to? Not really. So I'm not going to. Next question is, does my belly sit on my lap? Yes, it does. I was actually mowing my lawn last week and I wore a bikini because I was trying to get my belly a little bit more tan, which it's still albino, I feel like, compared to the rest of me. But I had tan lines on my, uh, my legs because of the way my belly sits. So can you suck in and push out your belly? Um, I mean, yeah, I can still do that. Does it make it look any different? A little bit. Do I wanna do it? No, why? Because it's very uncomfortable to do both of those things. Can I do a belly roll? Um, I used to when I was not pregnant. <laughs> Is my belly ticklish? Um, no, not really. I wouldn't say it's ticklish. I don't find any sensitivity on my belly. Normally people rub your belly. They don't like try to tickle your belly. and. The only thing ticklish on me, I feel like, is like my sides or my back. Question is, does your rubbing your belly get your baby to move? Um, no, I rub my belly all the time. I don't know, it's, I don't know. It's like a pregnancy habit, like that a pregnant woman always rubs their belly, I don't know. So, um, does rubbing my belly get my baby to move? Not really. Um, does she move sometimes when I rub my belly? Of course, but if I'm rubbing it, like right now, she's not moving at all. Do you run into things because of your belly? Yes. I am a person who likes to go to the gym and I like to exercise and I enjoy doing um, fitness journeys and I always forget that I can't suck in my belly. So I run into things quite often I can't fit into the spaces I used to. So yes, I run into lots of things because of my belly because I keep thinking that I'm able to suck in my belly or I think that I'm skinnier than what I am right now. So, and I like the most things that I would probably run into is people with my belly. Um, again, I don't, mean to at all it's just i think in my head that i'm skinnier than what i am and i try to suck in my belly and it doesn't work and it's very uncomfortable if i put something cold on my belly will my baby move um not necessarily sometimes she's already moving and my husband will put like a cold water on me or something and she like moves but other times he'll do the same thing when she's not moving and she doesn't move when I drink cold water though, if I drink something cold, she does move sometimes. Can you use your belly like a table? Yes, here's a picture of that. When you laugh, does your belly move? Uh, like any human being, yes, my belly does move. Does your belly look bigger from the front or the side? I will insert two pictures right here and you guys can decide that. Again, it kind of all depends on what I'm wearing. Is your belly button sensitive? Sometimes. 
Today, it's not, I can touch my belly button, no problem. Um, during the pre my pregnancy, yes, it has been very sensitive at times where you touch it, but today it's not. I don't know why it's sensitive sometimes and why it's not others, but today it is not, but sometimes it is. Does your baby move if you talk to them? Yes, she actually does move. She actually really enjoys music and sounds. So if I have my phone sitting like on my belly, just because I use it like a table, um, the sound, like she can hear it and she starts moving like a crazy person. Um, my husband is probably the one that talks to her the most or my nephew. And uh, yes, she definitely moves quite often whenever somebody talks to them. And the last question is, does baby ever make your belly look lopsided? Yes, I will also insert a picture of my belly looking lopsided. Um, she actually lays like this a lot and my belly is lopsided a lot. <laughs> so thank you guys for watching and tuning in. I hope you enjoyed these 30 pregnancy question and answers in relation to my pregnancy. And we will update you guys at my next appointment. See you guys later. Bye.